So what's new this week? Let's take a look, starting with, as always, Nightwave. Acts this week, Elite Acts or Kill 100 Xmas enemies and complete 8 zones of Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, Normal Acts or complete 5 scans for Cephalon Samaras. No. Not the worst, there is worse ones but still, time consuming. Complete 3 Sabotage missions, complete 3 Capture missions, kill 30 Xmas enemies, kind of done while doing that, and catch 6 rare fish in the Plains of Eidolon. I wish it, that was Servo Fish in the Orb Valis. That one's much, much easier. Offerings, as you could expect, Nil Hiles Obelites, kind of a permanent fixture at this point. There is the 10,000 Kuva, 5 Nyatan Extract, Vorban Porter in here, Catalyst, Reactor, looking for new helmets. Well, again, I don't really know what they actually look like. So, there is lots of different helmets here, but doesn't look like any of the new ones are actually there, but... The Tatsu Solstice skin is there. Obviously, the Solstice skin for the Tatsu. Or the blueprint to build it. Or as there is Scott Shotgun Scavenger, which is 150% ammo pickup. Deadeye, which is... If you are running a sniper rifle, it's kind of a must. Because it adds 52.5% damage. Sprint Boost, which is Sprint Speed. And Rifle Scavenger, which is just like sc Shotgun, but for rifle. Then there is the Atarax Desert Camo Skin Blueprint, the Frago Brock Blueprint, there is Grawl's Thumper Floof, it's just a dirty floof, Falco Shock Camo Skin, getting this one to work is always a pain because it never, there we go. It looks much better when it actually does that. There is the Jaw Sword, this is an actual melee weapon, it's the only way to get it is from Nightwave, same as the Glaive. You can buy the built one of these from the marketplace, but yet again, having to go out and go back in to get the Glaive to work properly, huh, there's two floofs. There is Grawl's Kubradon floof as well. Augments, there is Ambush Optics, that's the minus 50% zoom for the Rubicor. Shrapnel Rounds, which is the plus multi-shot minus damage for the Maylock and Ember's Purifying Flames Fire Blast Augment. Heading over towards Teshin on any relay for the Conclave, and well, that's, that's a lot of people here for some reason. Let's see what he has for the, what was that? That's not what I pressed, but hey, never mind. What is here for the Steel Path on a store this week? It is a Rifle Riven mod. Kind of tempted, but it is still stupidly expensive. That needs to come down at least 25 steel lessons to make it worth it. There is the Veiled Riven Cypher that will automatically unlock a Veiled Riven, which is, again, that's kind of a fixed item, but it looks like you can only pick one up a week. There is the Kuva that's normally here and everything else that is normally here because they're just, all it does is that rotates. But this is the only place to get a hold of the arcane adapters for primaries and secondaries. And if you have Helmet's Invigoration segment, this has also reset, but sadly, it differs for every person. Mine this week is an Aorus, Nyx, and Gora. I mean, that's primary damage. That could be pretty useful depending what you're using it for. Nyx's ability duration with immunity is could be pretty good but the ability strength on a Norris well kind of wish that was something completely different but yours will be different because they are different for every player but it resets today so may as well check those see if there's anything good until we get to the mutated invigoration because at the 10th invigoration you can put one of these onto any frame you see fit could put Ooh, ability duration, 100% ability duration on Protea here would go pretty well, but it's a while before I can do that one. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here for another week. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.